I, I'm going to present next on the NRMG website, nrmg.org. Give me just one second to get this set up. In the meantime, can someone get me a cup of coffee, please? I'd be That would be awesome. So I assume pretty much everybody here has been on the nrmg.org website. The, uh, uh, the grotto officers, it, uh, especially myself, but everybody has kind of agreed that, that we want to focus on the nrmg.org webpage. So... Our secretary in action right there. That's some. That, that's impressive. Thank you. Yeah, give it up for Carl. Oh, sweet. Do I have two? Wow, this is great. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, so, so we uh, we agreed that focusing on the Grotto webpage was was really important. And uh, uh, basically, what with, with us being a really spread out Grotto, this is our way to communicate and. Uh, we need to have a, a, a web page that anybody can input stuff into. So I've got a test account here uh, that I can show you guys. Um, and uh, I want to go over some of the features here. And then I want to take some questions here in a little bit. But uh, basically, the website, the design is that we, one of the favorite things that we want to do is uh, we want to be an archive. So we have a, a, a trip report submission here that uh, I imagine a bunch of you guys have been through. It's, um, you can actually submit quite a few things. And I'll go in some of the other submissions here in a little bit. But uh, as a Grotto member, you're expected to submit a trip report. And it's really quick. It doesn't take very long at all. Uh, a day pass. You don't have to uh, trip report or this stuff. We try to make it as easy and simple as possible. If you can just in there, even that goes a long way. So this is one part that I really wanted to go over. Uh, we can upload files. I think it's really important. We, we're taking more photos of caves than ever before. If we can be an archive of those photos, 10, 20, 30 years from now, someone could look at a cave entrance and be like, wow, that things have changed significantly. There's now napweed there. There's, there wasn't before. There's now formations are broken. There's not. So just, it, I think it's really important that we uh, uh, try to just archive as many photos. We're all going caving. We've all got, like, a lot of us are, have our cell phones. We're taking a whole bunch of photos. You can go on the website afterwards and just and just uh, upload some of those photos to share with people. So uh, uh, just as an example, um, photo upload starts happening. What, what we need you to do here is just be a little bit patient until the photo shows up. It takes, you know, a few seconds. It's uh, uh, a little bit complicated to uh, upload photos like this on the front end, but what happens when you do this is uh, uh, that photo is automatically resized. All the, the location data is scrubbed, so that's not available to people. So if your photo, K photos are geotagged, people cannot access that data. And then it's converted in all the right sizes. Um, so, so it's doing a bunch of stuff in the background. Uh, after that, so there's uh, decontamination protocols. Yes, if you have any questions, there's the link. Did you see bats? No. If you did, yes. There's a few questions regarding that. Um, next, there's just one more page here, and that you just enter your name, who was on the trip, and that's it. So, so submitting trip reports literally just takes a couple seconds, and it's a really great way to share what you're doing. It's a great way to learn, to uh, perhaps earn a rope. Someone's gonna win a rope later today who submitted a trip report. Um, in addition to that. Uh, where all of our data starts from and then goes out from there. So if you want to host an event, if you're hosting a pub night, if you're, uh, 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 you want a cave trip that you want to open up to the grotto, all that is available. So you can, and we're working on some of this stuff, the, uh, 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 the event name, you can set the date, location, you can upload photos, whatever kind of information you want to put on there. All this just goes to a moderator, gets approved, and then it shows up on the web page. Um, so I think uh, uh, in addition to that, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, news and announcements section, but we have, um, uh, we, we've, I, I think it's really important that we communicate what we're doing to the grotto as grotto officers, because a lot of times there's a lot of stuff happening in the background that you guys aren't seeing or aren't aware of. So I think, uh, uh, I, I, I think having this as an archive for future people is really important, but also just to share with the grotto. So the same with if you guys know anything that's interesting happening with caving in Montana or with caves in Montana or just anything that's related to, to grotto stuff, 
We want people to help submit their own news and announcements. The grotto is us. You know, it's not me. It's not Zach. It's not Carl. It's not Ellen. It's not any of that. It's us. So as the grotto moves forward, as we're spread out, you know, this is how we can uh, uh, can uh, keep everybody engaged with what we're doing is is through these uh, 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 just just on our website, so we can share what's going on and uh, uh, just continue to build community. Uh, that's that's why we um, we have also focused on getting this member directory up as well. Uh, so so any Grotto member this is all automatically updated. Their uh, locations are all listed here. Uh, we actually do have a Grotto member who uh, is in South America, is permanent address down there. Uh, uh, we've hired a webmaster who's been helping out with a lot of tasks that I don't know how to do. He's our Grotto uh, guy, New Delhi, right here. Um, I, I'm not sure how interested in caving he is, but he's very nice and he's very helpful and he's very affordable. Um, so, uh, uh, and then the other thing. If you're interested in caving, if you want to know about caving, if you want to know about caves, there is a slew of information here. All of our old newsletters, all of our old trip reports are there, caves of Montana, caves of Wyoming. It's all searchable, too. So uh, you wanted to see anything that contains Lick Creek, just uh, search for Lick Creek. And then um, I'm going to play for a second. So let me show you something else right here. Um, so, so as this shows up, um, what it between people who are logged into an account and people uh, just support, it you've got those photos that show up. Like here's all the uh, featured images that that show up. But if you're just general the public, they don't even get to see any of that. So they just get images from the news that's open to the public. But all the members only content is completely blocked off. So I think uh, as far as sharing trip reports uh, that, you know, people shouldn't be worried that this information is just going to go out to the general public or, or anything like that. That's the that's the message that they're going to get. It's, it, it is only for Grotterberg. Um, let me show you. There's one other cool thing that, that we've got set up with, uh, with, with this. So when you look at uh, these photos, when they load at the bottom, they are... Uh, uh, they're, they're completely protected as well. So you can't even right click and save these images. So it, it's uh, uh, your content is still yours. But I think for going forward that, that we really want to focus on just continuing to uh, improve this website. And at this point, I'd like to open this up to any questions or comments regarding NRMG.org. Has anyone r run into any issues or anything like that. If there are, I'd love to talk to you privately after this. Um, if there are no website questions, I will move on to the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, go ahead. Carl, why are you crying? This is, uh, yeah, if you, if, you go, if you do go to the members homepage, You'll see there are uh, on the right here all the top traded, top rated trip reports. And uh, day for caving. Oh, it's not. So uh, I think if you guys do want to read a sad day for caving, it's a great trip report. And then if you uh, uh, if you go here, you can hold thumbs up, and uh, it'll pop up on the on the side, and everyone will see Carl's uh, Carl's exciting story. Um, so if we're all good there. Another thing that I wanted to talk. About. Was uh, Cape Camp. So, this is second. second to open up. Great. So, what? Uh, I I might not. I, I'm not planning on. I'm planning on moving to Wyoming this summer. So, if we need to do, if we want to do Cape Camp, there's going to be a lot of. Uh, uh, we we need to have it to be a group effort. So I want to go over just, and it's going to be really tough, probably impossible for us to get Cape Camp to occur without this. So uh, food and drink is the first one that I want to go over. And that is probably the most important position at Cape Camp. really easy if we had an unlimited budget because you just hire a caterer. But we don't have that. So you 
be working with a couple people that are just there to cook and work with cooking, uh, pre-making spaghetti and just things that are easy to make in large quantity. We have a commercial kitchen there. Um, so that's a very important position that we need to fill. Uh, Speedy Olympics coordinator uh, uh, is also a critical part of the event. Um, let's see, volunteer coordinator and attendee email communication. That's just the person who is going to be sending out emails, letting people know what's going on. As questions come in, they'll be directing them to the right person. And they'll also, all these people will be talking to the volunteer coordinator and telling them what positions they need. Hey, I need three people to take out the trash at this time. Things like that. Facilities coordinator is, is, is I'm planning on that being myself. That's just going to be working closely with the local facilities, the forest service, all the, all the groups that we're going to work with to make that happen. Uh, vertical safety and stunt coordinator is a very important position. We've included as well in that job title to try and make it sound cooler. Um, Cape Trip Coordinator is an incredibly important position. We've got, you know, 100 people coming in from some people from across the country uh, uh, going on these trips. So we're trying to do that in a way that makes sense for the caves and makes sense for the cavers as well. Uh, merchandise sales, those person will be arranging. We've got really cool shirts lined up uh, if we can make this happen this year. Uh, so they'll be arranging some of that stuff. Media liaison and long-term documentation. Hopefully they can reach out with press releases to the public for months in advance and try and get a lot of good press on it. And then long-term documentation so we can share this with other groups. And uh, hopefully, I know there's other other organizations that, was, that are interested in hosting their own cave camp as well. Um, let's see, so Friday Cave Cleanup Coordinator, that's at Lick Creek Cave, probably the most impacted cave in Montana. Uh, so I think it's really great that we go there and can do that. We need someone to organize that position. That's a very important one. All the workshop organizers, that's Saturday, there's workshops, uh, uh, two different main three and a half hour long workshops. So working with the, the teachers that we have, figuring out what their skills are, what our students need, and just helping organize all of that. Uh, registration and recruitment, we'll be trying to recruit some of these uh, top-level cavers to help lead some of these workshops like we have in the past. So they'll be working closely together. Silent auction guru is someone who's just going to help run the silent auction. Uh, that's what helps make this affordable so we can so we can do that. I think we pulled in several thousand dollars with our one in 2017. A sponsorship coordinator will be working closely with the silent auction guru to help acquire a bunch of things to put in the silent auction. And I think uh, Friday Night Activities Coordinator is just going to be working closely with the Speedy Olympics Coordinator and also the Friday Cave Cleanup Coordinator to have some fun stuff to do for people that show up on Friday evening. So these are all these are all really important positions, and uh, for for a lot of them, I think it makes sense to even have multiple people. Uh, involved in them, but we're not, you notice there's not like a, a chairman, lead, or figurehead, or anything like that. I want all of these people to work together as a team to make decisions and uh, come up with a way that, you know, something that works. I think, I think as a team, we're so much stronger. Uh, so hopefully, if you guys want to have Cave Camp, we can all come together and, and figure out how to uh, fill, these, fill these positions. Are there any questions? I know I just rambled on like crazy. Yeah, if you're if you're interested in any of these, let's talk about this, and we're going to uh, have an email discussion following this event where people can uh, uh, sign up. But yeah, please email me if you're interested in any of these, and if if I don't get people just falling bending over backwards, I'm just going to start harassing people, and uh, I'll annoy all of you until you agree. Okay. Any other? Thanks for that comment, Doug. Um, any other? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, same, same schedule, same, same everything as as the past. I think what we've done before was great. Let's just do that, but more so, bigger, better, more pyrotechnics. You know. So I think. That